Hi. Sorry for my lack of videos, absence, whatever. But I've been really busy with finals, which sucks. But I finished school in eight days, so a little bit longer of crazy scrambling, and then I'm done for the summer. And then I have to find a job. Alright. Anyway. Um, oh, Willow's talking again. My cat. Anyway. Um, you may remember in my last video that I made a bit of an error. Um, I was filming and suddenly my camera cut out. And I don't know why. I think there was enough space or something. So then I had to uh, start filming again and um, splice the two clips together. And although I'm in film at school and currently getting an 84, I think. I hope so. Willow is so loud. Um, even though uh, I am in film, I wasn't really sure how to edit videos. But since then, I've realized what to do. So I'm going to use that to my advantage to get subscribers. No one cares. But let's see if this works. Consider it a social experiment. Magic, I know, right? So anyway, I'm going to be really, really, really annoying with this, okay? Really. 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 So very annoying. And this, I vow. Toilet humor aside, I think you should bear with me because I'm serious business. Um, so, I will... Oh, Willow's still yelling. I'll use those effects, I swear it, but not the abundance that was just used. Because today, I am going to talk about books. So, let's start with Divergent by Veronica Roth. Now, there's a big deal about, made about, there was a big deal made about this book when it first came out, and even before it came out, because it was stated to be the next Hunger Games. Now, I'm a big Hunger Games fan, as you should know, and so uh, that's mainly why I bought the book. And I have to say, I didn't see the comparisons. I mean, not that that was what I was judging the book on, but based on what I read, it was, it was an alright book. It was a solid read. But did I love it? No. I liked it. So, Divergent is, takes place in Chicago in um, sometime in the future. So I guess that's the parallel between that and Hunger Games um, in the future. Dystopia. Um, and also, like the Hunger Games, the city, though Hunger Games is a country. Um, Hunger, it takes place in a country. Pardon. Anyway, not talking about the Hunger Games, talking about Divergent. So Divergent... Um, Chicago is split up into three cities, sorry, five, uh, I don't know, sorry, five um, sections that are based on virtues in the one city, I don't know why I said three cities, but the one city of Chicago is split into, so they all mingle together, they socialize, they go to school together, but when they're 16, any children who are born into certain factions um, then choose um, which ones they want to continue living in. So the main character is Beatrice Pryor, who turns 16, and she has always lived in abnegation with her parents, and, and people from abnegation are very selfless. So they only look in the mirror once every few months. Uh, they do everything for others. They never think of themselves. It's like a terrible place to live in. <laughs> anyway, um, and so when she, it's her time to pick she chooses Dauntless, which are the brave ones. And so um, she has to go through this really tough initiation process, and some people die, some people are thrown out, etc. And if you're thrown out, you basically live on the streets, of, if you're thrown out of one of the groups. But um, Beatrice is tested, because each before you pick um, the, which section, which faction you want to live in, um, you have to take a test to determine which one, but Beatrice's um, results were inconclusive which means she's divergent, and the person who, te who tested her tells her to keep as a secret because she could be killed otherwise, and Beatrice is like, yeah, okay, whatever, and goes to be dauntless, um, which frankly surprised everybody, including herself, not the reader really, um, but yeah. So Beatrice goes to live um, as a dauntless, hiding her secret that she's divergent, title drop, um, and she changes her name to Triss to fit in with like the tough crowd, I guess. I don't know. I guess Beatrice and the tough, brave name. And Triss is. I don't know. Anyway. Um, 
and throughout the book, um, it's kind of her initiation into Dauntless, which was an interesting concept. But I thought that Veronica Roth wrote it in a very simple way that I didn't find effective. I just wish that she could have put more detail, I guess. And also, a lot of the um, events, so char really interesting characters are made and then not really developed, or they're killed off, or they kind of disappear, which I didn't like. Um, and there's also a lot of things that didn't go explained. I mean, we eventually find out why it's so bad to be divergent, which I won't say because it's a spoiler. But it keeps they keep saying that um, um, Chicago is guarded, you, like mostly by dauntless people, um, and that there's fences and stuff everywhere. But they never say why. I mean, I know it's going to be a trilogy, but I feel they should have at least said, okay, I want to know why this is. But they just kind of state that and move on which is weird. So yeah, I thought it was okay. Yeah, I kind of wish I had waited to, for it to come out and pay your back rather than spend all that money on a hardcover, but whatever. I mean, it's a good read. It's a light read, but it's good. It's definitely not The Hunger Games. I don't understand the comparisons. And I also didn't like that Veronica Roth seemed to be trying to push her religion on the reader, which I don't like at all. So Tris um, states her belief in God and heaven and stuff. And, um, of course, when I read the acknowledgments at the end, the first person um, Veronica um, Roth thanks is God and his son for, I guess, well, Jesus, but she just said son, for being her savior or whatever it is that some writers and Oscar winners say in acknowledgments, which annoys me because they did it themselves. They didn't need, anyway, no religious rants here, book rants. Okay. So that's enough for Divergent, I guess. And next book I love, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. Now don't be put off by the cover, which is admittedly dumb. I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's a, um, a thin girl with blonde hair, except her hair is kind of ragged, um, and she's got a few cuts and bruises, and then she's wearing her sash, but then also a line of lipsticks that are made to look like bullets. And you can also see a deserted island kind of in the background. But I know it might be hard to see it in my crappy webcam, so that's why I'm telling you. So Beauty Queens is written by Libba Bray, who I love. She wrote the Gemma Doyle trilogy, um, which is one of my favorite book trilogies, and Going Bovine, which is a hilarious dark comedy. And uh, Beauty Queens falls in the same pattern as Going Bovine, kind of absurd comedy. And laugh out loud hilarious. So Beauty Queens is about a plane of beauty queens, uh, teen pageant girls who are on their way to some tropical place for a photo shoot and stuff, and they're all in, the pa in a pageant to win Miss Teen Dream, and so are basically rivals. Um, so then their plane breaks up, and they crash on a deserted island, and so what they have to do is the survivors have to fend for themselves and work together learn survival skills that don't, that don't involve applying eyeliner. And it, it was so funny. And so throughout, there's um, a lot of mention of different brands, some of which are obviously based off real brands that we have, but then others are completely made up. So they have like uh, commercial, commercial breaks um, in between every few chapters. So it's like um, any script dialogue, but for a commercial. So what, the first one is for Lady Stash Off, which is, <laughs> Uh, which is um, to remove lip hair, uh, but also it <laughs> tans your skin and moisturizes you. And I think the, the mother recommends it to her daughter so she doesn't look like a troll. And she, she can support the economy. She's not a communist, is she? It's really funny. And another one was like maxi pad pets. So you can always feel like you have a little friend in your pants. I love Loba Bray. She's so funny. So anyway, a lot of... Uh, it turns out a lot of them aren't just like vap the vapid pretty girls that they seem. So two of the girls are actually in the competition only to prove how dysfunctional it is. So the main kind of main characters, all told through third person, but um, some people have more parts than others. So Adina is the main character, Miss New Hampshire. Um, and she's only in it because she's a wannabe journalist. And so she wants to expose it from the inside. Another character, Petra, is transsexual, and she's trying to expose that sh she wants to win, and then say, "Hey, look at this! Look what I can do!" Because she's from like a boy band 
originally when she was like um, 11 and I think it was I think it's kind of based off like Justin Bieber but a bunch of them and they were kind of exploited and then a lot of the other girls were put a lot of pressure from their families or whatever to join maybe their mothers were cheerleaders or beauty queens and so yeah it was really good and it, it um, a lot of the cor the corporate the corporation is just called the corporation with capital T and C who do all the uh, Lee Stashoff and Maxi Pet Pets and all that turns out they have a dark presence on this island so they're not completely alone and according to Lobo Bright she took a lot of cues from Lost and Lord of the Flies and all that which you can tell yeah so Beauty Queens I highly recommend it if you're looking for a book that will make you laugh but also think like it definitely has a very very strong feminist vibe which I love and also kind of attacks like the um, average perception of beauty and what it means to be pretty and I I love Louvre Bray so I picked up the book without really knowing what it was about because I knew I'd like it and I loved it because it's Louvre Bray so yeah if you want a good funny read pick Beauty Queens I highly recommend it more so than Divergent Divergent I'd say read it it's good it's got a good plot I just don't think Veronica Roth pulled it out the way she could could have um, though that saying she's a she's I'm not sure if she's still in university or if she just graduated but she wrote it when she was in university um, and it's her first book so maybe cut her a bit of slack and I'll definitely read the rest of the trilogy because I think she's a lot of room for improvement and I, I'd like to see where that goes so yeah I know my beginning was full of effects and this was not and it was long but I apologize and I will practice with those effects and editing and stuff and I'm so excited. Okay, so I'll try to post another video next week. It might be difficult because of crazy studying, essays, projects, exams, but I'll stop moping and I'll talk about books. Alright, bye.